Hey, what's up? One aspect we don't usually notice is that, although breaking a bone is very simple to understand, recovery can be very complex. And that recovery, of course, is very much conditioned by the person's situation before the fracture. What do we need to know? Well, we must be attentive to the most frequent complications in order to detect them in time and prevent greater evils. It is known that the later the surgical intervention, the more complications, the longer the hospitalization, and the more difficult the recovery. Therefore, it is a good idea that we do our best to ensure that the operation does not take longer than necessary. After going through the operating room, the most common problems are acute confusional syndrome, attention must be paid to cognitive impairment, which can occur even before surgery, heart failure and dihythmias, pneumonia, urinary infection, malnutrition, bed sores. As we can see, many complications can arise from something very simple, which requires the coordination of many good professionals. Knowing this, we can become the best allies to achieve a good recovery. And in terms of recovery, early mobilization of the patient has been shown to improve prognosis. Therefore, it is a good idea to get an evaluation from a physiotherapist and start rehabilitation as soon as possible. In any case, unless the doctor or surgeon says otherwise, it is a good idea to start moving from the day after surgery. One of the few factors in which we can intervene decisively is that the patient walks at the time of discharge, even with our help. This will greatly facilitate the recovery of autonomy and life expectancy of our loved one. I hope I have helped you not to regret it by saying, but he had only broken his hip. <laughs>